My name's Mandy Bell, I'm Chair of Waiwanaka and a member of the Luggett Action Group. Currently we have five action groups um, which are made up of what I'd call um, primary source of income is from farming. We have another couple, um, two groups that are up and operating now for um, small landholders. Water is the connector um, for everything um, for us as farmers. Water, water is life. I think the action groups have been invaluable for our community and I would urge others to join um, in your community if you haven't. We've got some real challenges um, coming um, at us as farmers and really difficult to do it on your own. To do it as part of a group and to do it as part of a group that has got um, the social science experience to feed into this is just as invaluable. My name is Sarah Jamieson and my husband and I manage Lake Mackay Station at Luggett and I am the farmer lead for the Luggett catchment group. Today we are doing some electric fishing in our local Luggett Creek. There is no way that we would be able to do that um, as, a, as a farm without the support of the group and the RMPP model. The, the format and the model, so the group model where you have a plan and you have uh, activities planned was a, a big benefit um, along with the ability to have facilitation and also just the network of experts available through through RMPP and Beef and Lamb. The accountability is, is really important. I think that by having an extension plan, setting a plan as a group and setting some activities then as a, as a farm you can identify your particular part in that extension plan and then by having the group you go back and you have to explain to them why you did or didn't do your part. So it, it creates momentum, it keeps that momentum going and everybody plays their part. We have a couple of challenges. One is that we're in a very uh, tourist area, so we're very visible as farms. We're also on the edge of that rural-urban divide. Uh, so communicating what we're doing environmentally to the urban community is, is a challenge for us. The regulations uh, are coming at us from, you know, through the NPS and the NES, we've got biodiversity, we've got soils, uh, farm environment planning, and so without the help of facilitators and experts, it's really hard to navigate that, understand what's expected of us and prioritise what's important and, and what we have to do first. My name's Nicola McGruther and I'm a consultant based in Dunedin and my role here in the Wanaka area is as lead facilitator across the seven catchment groups. The purpose of bringing experts in is so that as a group we can all learn together to improve our depth of understanding about a particular topic and out of that we want to find practical actions that we can then implement on farm to make improvements and enhance the environment. So some of the experts we've brought in are people like Kate Scott from Lampro, who's a guru in terms of uh, water management. Uh, and today we've got uh, our electric fishing experts, Richard Allybone and Chris Arbuckle, which we're really excited about. Uh, the environmental legislation uh, changes ahead of us were quite daunting to try and face on an individual basis. And coming together as a group to understand them firstly, um, has enabled us to sort of start to tackle them individually in bite-sized chunks and we feel that being part of a group has actually been really valuable in the sense that we're able to um, start from the start and identify all those individual areas that we needed to do work in. I think being part of uh, an environmentally focused RMPP group has enabled us to identify what some of the regional challenges are and as far as being a benefit to our business it's really going to set us up in terms of on a good platform going forward for meeting the future legislation requirements.